Hi, this is Akabu69. Today we're looking at uh, my brother's crate GT1200H. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of crates, but honestly, if you tweak them right, they don't sound half bad. But you really gotta tweak them. And this is the custom cab I'm coming out of. Ironically, it's got a crate speaker, so it might be perfectly voiced. So when I got rocking right now, it's kind of a fuzzy kind of sound. I'm going to demo this out for you. And to make the demo fair, uh, right now I'm going to play you how I got it tweaked to my liking. And then I'll put everything on 12 o'clock and do, and you know, demo it out and do all that good stuff. But this is how I got it rocking so far. <laughs> Doesn't sound too terrible. I got the uh, red channel on. I got the gain almost dimed out. I got the shape turned all the way off, which boosts all the mids. I've got the level pretty low. I've got the uh, EQs bass on full, mids on mids on about nine and a half, treble on full, and you get this kind of sound. <laughs> Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fair. We we'll start with the, we we'll start with the clean channel. I'm we'll gonna run everything on 12 o'clock. So there we go. This is the clean channel. Now let's 
start messing with that shape button. I got the shape on 12 o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest crate fan, but maybe it's because I never took the time to really sit down and tweak one of these babies. I never really sat down with a crate and kind of, you know, how do I explain it? I never sat down and took the time to actually make it sound good. <laughs> just like, ooh, it sounds bad because it was always, the dials were wrong. But here, this is what the shape on 12 o'clock. Now let's put it on three quarters. The shape basically is like what a contour on the Marshall MSR. It's, it's, it's a mid, it's either a mid boost or a mid sweep, depending on how you turn it. Honestly, this amp's not that bad sounding, you just gotta tweak it right. It's actually got a real fuzzy sounding distortion. Almost reminds me, and don't make fun of me, but it kind of, to my ears, it reminds me of a 5150. Now we got the shape turned all the way up, and, and it completely scoops your mid. Which I don't really like that kind of sound, because it takes away all the presence. I'm going to boost the highs and the lows, and I'm going to turn the mid range almost all the way up. But with that shape on, you still don't get much mid. Now I'm going to dial it and give it the sound I like. Mids boosted, gain cut down just a little bit. Now you got your Akalu 69s on. And this kind of reminds me of a uh, kind of a partially 5150-ish type tone. It's real kind of... This amp is a, needs an effects and it does got the return though, which is weird. So you can like use different preamps through this thing and use this as a glorified power amp. But maybe I'll have my stepbrother if my brother is actually cool with it because it's, it's not my amp, but it'd be cool to have it modded with the uh, effects. And this amp's not that bad for what it is, you just gotta know how to tweak them. You gotta you know how to tone your fingers and all that good stuff. But, I was a little skeptical of this thing actually sounding good, and now that I've actually hooked it up, it's not too bad. Uh, this is the Crate GT1200H. It's definitely a high gain monster. It definitely has the gain. You know, it has more than enough gain for, for what you need. But here we go. <laughs> 